What if I told you the difference between an average worm bin and one that produces buckets of rich, earthy compost comes down to a simple liquid you probably pour down the drain? For years, gardeners have debated whether rice water or molasses is the ultimate booster for worm bins. Both promise to energize worm colonies and supercharge decomposition, but when put to the test under controlled conditions, only one came out on top. Today, I'll take you through the full experiment, the results, and exactly how you can replicate it in your own bin for healthier worms and faster composting. To get clear and reliable results, I started with two identical worm bins. They both had the same bedding, the same worm population, the same feeding schedule, and the same environmental conditions. The only difference was the liquid treatment. One bin received rice water once per week, while the other was treated with molasses at the same frequency. This setup allowed me to see exactly how worms reacted to each liquid and whether one really gave them an edge. The goal wasn't just to see which one worms preferred in the short term, but which treatment created long-term stability, healthier populations, and better quality compost. Rice water is that cloudy liquid left behind after soaking or cooking rice. Most people pour it away without a second thought, but it's actually packed with carbohydrates and trace nutrients. When added to a worm bin, rice water doesn't just feed the worms directly. Instead, it becomes food for beneficial microorganisms like lactobacillus that break down organic matter into forms worms can easily consume. By boosting microbial activity, rice water transforms the bin into a balanced ecosystem where decomposition happens smoothly, odors stay minimal, and pH levels remain stable. Worms thrive when their environment is consistent and rich in beneficial microbes, and rice water provides exactly that. To use rice water effectively, you'll want to collect about one cup of rice water after cooking or soaking rice. Then, just dilute it with two cups of plain water before pouring it evenly across your worm bin once per week. The dilution, you know, ensures the liquid isn't too starchy, which could otherwise lead to clumping or excess fermentation. Molasses has long been loved by composters for its role as a microbial activator. This thick, sweet syrup is loaded with sugars that soil bacteria consume rapidly, creating a burst of microbial life that speeds up decomposition. Alongside sugars, molasses contains minerals like iron, calcium, and magnesium, as well as B vitamins that can benefit overall worm health. When poured into a worm bin, molasses immediately attracts microbial activity, and worms respond almost instantly. Within minutes of introducing it, I noticed worms clustering around the molasses-treated areas, creating what looked like a feeding frenzy. Food scraps disappeared at an incredible pace and reproduction rates appeared to pick up within the first few weeks. So, for application, you'll want to dilute one tablespoon of molasses in one liter of water before adding it to your worm bin. This simple step keeps the sugar concentration from overwhelming the system and, you know, helps prevent the rapid onset of anaerobic conditions. The first two weeks of the experiment honestly made it look like molasses was the clear winner. Worms in the molasses bin were more active, food broke down faster, and overall energy levels were noticeably higher. Meanwhile, the rice water bin moved at a slower, steadier pace. The worms explored cautiously, spreading through treated areas more gradually, and decomposition appeared consistent but definitely less dramatic. At this stage, anyone observing the bins would have placed their bet on molasses as the superior choice. The activity was exciting to watch and really it felt like the worms couldn't get enough of it. But gardening and composting often reward patience. And as the experiment progressed, the story began to shift. By week four, the molasses bin began showing warning signs. The rapid microbial explosion that had fueled early success started leading to side effects. pH fluctuations became more noticeable, and areas of the bin developed anaerobic conditions, spots where oxygen was limited and unpleasant odors started forming. Worms avoided those pockets and yeah, some stress was visible in their behavior. The rice water bin, on the other hand, kept running like a well-tuned engine. 
decomposition was steady, the bedding maintained even moisture, and no unpleasant smells developed. Worms remained active across the entire bin without clustering or avoiding sections. The consistency of the environment was beginning to pay off. At the end of eight weeks, the results were clear. The rice water bin produced 23% more finished vermicompost by weight compared to the molasses bin. The compost itself was richer, finer in texture, and carried that earthy aroma gardeners love. Worm populations grew at a steady rate with healthier appearance, better color, and more uniform activity. Meanwhile, the molasses bin, despite its explosive start, showed inconsistencies. The castings were clumpier, sometimes sticky, and the population displayed mild signs of stress. Food continued to disappear quickly, but the overall health of the ecosystem wasn't as stable as in the rice water bin. The conclusion is simple. Molasses may create a temporary burst of activity, but rice water delivers consistent, long-term benefits. What makes rice water the winner is its ability to maintain balance. Composting isn't just about speed, it's about creating an environment where worms can thrive for months and years without stress. Rice water delivers slow-release nutrition for microbes, encourages steady decomposition, and helps maintain healthy conditions across the entire bin. Worms respond to stability, and in return, they reward you with healthier populations and better quality castings. For home gardeners, this means rice water is the most practical, reliable, and effective choice for boosting worm production. It's free, easy to collect, and simple to apply. And, unlike molasses, it doesn't come with the risk of upsetting the delicate balance inside your worm bin. Collect the water from rinsing, soaking, or boiling rice. For best results, let it cool to room temperature before use. Mix one part rice water with two parts plain water, then pour evenly across your worm bin once per week. This light but consistent feeding is enough to keep microbes thriving without overwhelming the system. If you are currently using molasses, transition gradually by mixing small amounts of rice water into your routine and reducing molasses frequency over time. This prevents sudden changes that might shock your worm population. After running this experiment side by side, I can say with confidence that rice water is the clear winner when it comes to long-term worm bin health and productivity. It may not give you the initial fireworks that molasses does, but over time, it doubles down with consistency, healthier worms, and higher compost yields. If you want a worm bin that produces rich earthy castings and supports strong active worm populations, rice water is the secret ingredient you've been missing. Try this method in your own bin, and once you start seeing the difference, you'll never look at rice water as waste again. For more practical evidence-based gardening experiments and composting tips, make sure you subscribe to Soil and Crops Central. Share this resource with fellow gardeners so together we can build healthier soils and more abundant harvests.